and welcome. Today I'm going to be looking at the Inferno Dex by Balthazar Eprecht. This is another Kickstarter deck I've recently just had to the post. Um, I ordered two, so I've got what I think is a standard deck and a gilded deck. This one's got a seal on, so we're going to open this one and have a look through. Uh, this is part of a series he's going to be doing about Dante's Inferno for its 700th anniversary. So we're going to get into this and have a good look through them. Okay, so the Inferno deck by Balthazar Eprecht. Right, there's um, obviously the design and the gilding is really, really lovely. So I want to do this video in two bits today, I'm going to talk about the deck and what I like about it and then at the end I'm just going to add a couple of critiques that I've been thinking about as I've been going through it. Uh, so yeah, we'll get to that at the end, but I want to do all the, the positive stuff, all the look at all the beautiful elements and all the design and thought that's gone into it. So the deck itself is printed by Legends Playing Car Company uh, using their Viper finish. The deck is gilded. Uh, it's a deck I got through Kickstarter, so this was one of the the rewards for hitting certain targets. Was a gilded deck. The um, back of the cards also all cold press gilded. The top box again. Gilding on the front and back, designed to look like a book. So the design on the tuck box represents the nine circles or the nine levels that Dante goes through as he comes down the funnel, ending up with Lucifer at the bottom. Okay, so the deck itself. The these are the jokers. They come together to form a scene. The jokers are from Dante's entry. So this is the gate before he goes in. And then we've just got another two cards that depict as he descends. Right, so the deck itself, the back design, which again is cold foil. The DC is for Dante's Divine Comedy and the, the text on here is inspired by medieval manuscripts. So it's symmetrical. The, the text are the verses above the entrance. to the underworld, to hell. So Dante's Divine Comedy was it was made up of three books. And this one is based on the Inferno book, which as he travels through hell, through the nine circles to Lucifer. So all of the face cards are inspired by people that he meets along the way. And these people are historically or culturally important. The aces are Lucifer and his monsters. So the ace of hearts here is minus. Not the easiest thing to see with the foil on the back. And the design it's meant to look like vines and such like. So it's all custom. It's a very smooth finish. The cards are very, very slippery. But it is really, really nice. So the face cards, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and show you the design and the idea behind them. And I'll put on later at the bottom all the names of them 
some of them I can't make out and some of them I'd have to go back through and double check but if I know them I'll shout them out as we go but the idea of these is that one half of the picture is showing what that person's punishment was in the story in the poem and the other half is a significant scene from their life so for example the jack of hearts it's got a boat and an oar on this side and this side's got the paddle and the grim reaper sitting over his shoulder queen of hearts King of Hearts is Julius Caesar. Stabbed to death. And also the Emperor of the Roman Empire. So Ace of Spades is Lucifer. It's also a colour palette difference between what would normally be red pips and black pips. It's quite hard to see on the camera. Jack of Spades, Queen of Spades, King of Spades, and Nimrod there. Ace of Diamonds is Cerberus. Of diamonds, Queen of Diamonds is Medusa, King of Diamonds, the Ace of Clubs is Gurren, Jack of Clubs. Queen of Clubs is a Harpy and the King of Clubs is Attila the Hun. So overall the deck, the artwork is absolutely lovely. The foil gives it a really nice finish in the light. It does give it a bit of a weird texture but the artwork and design of these cars is really, really nice. There's a slight bow to them. I think that must come again from the gilding process. Back design, like I say, really well thought out. Fan is gorgeous, thanks to the foil. Okay, so just about the top box. It's meant to look like a book, and I think the effect overall is really, really nice. But just one little thing is maybe black stock could have been used with the paper, just to give it a, a better, a better look and finish. The white card is quite obvious in places. It's only a little detail, but. It's where something like Theory 11 deck just looks the part. So it's just a little little thing about that. The deck itself, I don't know if it's part of the gilding process or what, but when it's turned up, it's just in a very, very strange order. Another thing, I don't know if it's hard, it's easy to see this one card. This was at the top of my deck when I took it out. It's just a bit feathered on the edges. Don't really know why. The six of hearts, I don't know if anybody else has got a deck like this and has a similar problem. Well, 
Well, I'm really impressed with this deck overall. Hopefully, he'll have more coming out to, for the other two books. But judging by the artwork on this, it could take a while before we see any more of them. They are really, really well done. Yeah, just to mention, the next one I'm hoping to get out is the Avengers, Theory 11 Avengers deck. Got the other two coming. And Theory 11 have also just released a pirate themed deck with Peter McKinnon. So that's ordered, so that'll be a couple of weeks away. And again, there's another couple of Kickstarter decks due as well. So hopefully they'll all be here soon. We can all have a good look at them. Now it's supposed to fit.